Okay guys, we are back at Home Depot. There's a bit of a lineup to get in there. We're here to get paint for the walls. Painting time guys, time to do some paint. We're almost there, let's go get it. Okay, so we got the step in. We got the step in and also the cover for the cooler. And now we are just measuring out the window so we can get some curtains ready to go in here as soon as we're finished painting. And I just had to show you this really quickly. I'm telling you, awesome deal on the curtains. Discs. Yep. $9.98 for these. They were twenty one. They were twenty nine ninety nine, and they are blackout. Awesome deal because this one curtain is going to do all of these windows, including the door. Which, as you notice, we've painted the frame because that nasty aluminum stuff. We're not done painting the frame, but you get the gist. And also this one down here with this one panel, which is awesome. They unfold it and show us the panel like because it's a heavy duty blackout curtain, which is just awesome. So we're good. We are good. <laughs> now you see them? Now you don't. <laughs> what you doing? Painting the door. Painting the door. The whole door? All the door. The door trim. Painting the trim. The windows are done. It just looks so much nicer. Well, not completely done. We're working on it. Those are done. So much nicer. So much nicer. This one's almost done. A few things to be done on that yet. We're getting there with that one. And as you can see, we're going from the black because of the tinny look was just not kind of, we weren't feeling it. So black it is. No more tin. What do you think? I think it looks good. You like it? Yep. Smile for me. <laughs> and we have the first coat going on. It's gonna suck up the paint. Yep. Yep. But it's gonna look nice and bright in here. Don't get into your hair. You think you'll notice? Uh, a little bit. White paint, white hair? Will you notice, do you think? A little. Leave a comment below if you think you'll notice. <laughs> we'll see. There's a little cramped quarters up there, but we'll make it work. All right, guys. So we have started the painting process. Curry is in here. Oh, ceiling done. Well, not done. First coat, first coat. First coat, we're just gonna put a primer on the whole interior. And then you'll see the difference this is gonna make. The huge difference this will make. Okay, so the painting has begun. Let's see if you guys can tell the difference in this light. So we're going with a light gray. That light gray. Oh yeah, that's not bad lighting. That light gray. And we're going to leave the ceiling white. So we've taped it all off. We paint all of this gray. Don't you just love paint? It's like instant gratification. Paint's instant gratification? Yeah. Because it just automatically changes the whole view. Quickly. Well, an hour or two. I don't know if you can see the color on this video. Turn around and say something. Oh, you're doing it? <laughs> oh, okay, huh? I'm not sure if you can see the color, but it sure is instant gratification, I'm telling you. Guys. Those lines, I'm telling you. Freaking awesome, guys. This is awesome. I'm actually really, really happy. Marshy said, hey, you know what? We need grays in here. We went with a light gray on the top, white ceiling, dark gray on the very bottom. Amazing. There's a contrast. Hopefully you can see that. 
Yes, it's still a mess in here, but it's looking nice. See, the seams we told you will just blend right in. All the molding, just gonna blend right in there. Yep, gotta love paint. It's cool. Okay, so, can you see the difference? I don't know if that's going to show up on video very well, but I can totally see the difference between the walls and the ceiling. Oh, maybe that's a better angle. Yeah, it's a little grayer. A little grayer. There's the contrast. And the counter. Hey. So all that's left is curtains, so there'll be curtain there, a curtain there, and a shear that's gonna go across the bed. Curtain there, curtain there, curtain there, cushions there, and a couple of little sprucey things along with the bed that we got killer deal on. Oh, the bed, we looked online, Marcy started looking around, a sweet deal, guys, sweet deal. Where did we get it? We have hunted on eBay, on Amazon, around our local areas for a bed, astronomical prices. This puppy was originally $199.99 for 74 bucks. Can you see this? 3D. $74. So, but it's in this little box, which I think is just, Bizarre, because it's kind of like a sleep bag. You can never get it in that little bag they stuff in, or I can't anyway, so I can't imagine a bed. That thing will never go back in that box. We're gonna unleash it and see what we got. What a sweet deal. Oh. oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gotta be folded in half because it's supposed to be huge. What do you think? It says it's 54 by 7. What is it? What is the dimensions? Let me see. 54 by 74 and the box. The box says it. A full double. That does not look like a full double. These things are wild. I mean, I've heard of them. It's not like I haven't heard of them. I just haven't seen how they get shipped. Well, that still doesn't look like much. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it has to fluff up. This is going to be to be continued. Guys, <laughs> it doesn't look like four inches. That's what she said. Oh, I'm sorry. But they say after 24 hours of sitting in the box, it's going to poof up. Time will tell. So, we'll see you shortly when it poofs up. Okay guys, I can't tell you how excited I am at the progress. I mean, we've been working our butts off, but check it out. I hope this comes across on video because it is looking sleek. Yeah, man. It turned out super nice. Curtains. A bed, our little step, the cupboard doors on. Just... Okay, so we were at the dollar store and found this awesome peel and stick stuff that's way cheaper than the stuff that you get from Home Depot or anywhere else. It's expensive. I cut my finger off. I cut my finger off. Oh. Believe it or not, it's expensive. I just poked my finger. Don't do that. I poked my finger. Don't do that. So we're still kind of damp. I mean, we painted a couple, maybe two hours ago, so it's still kind of damp, but we are gonna just measure this stuff Cut out. Down. So check it Look. out. So, I don't know if you can see that. Four bucks, oh, it's upside down. Let me try that again. So, four bucks. So what we really wanted was to be able to do more of this. So I'm gonna go back. They only had three sheets and we're like, yeah, but we love this stuff. So we're gonna cover 
part of the bottom back splash just for two reasons aesthetics obviously because i really like it it's oh it's super thin. nice it's really thin that's four bucks what are you gonna do it's not 54 bucks for like eight sheets it's really thin but how cool is that gonna look so cool i'm telling you hello best 12 bucks we spent dollar store three sheets little bottom rail there you know you get the picture what do you think like i it? think it's awesome i think it turned out cool like that just looks cool i like it and it'll help with the backsplash of the sink so that doesn't get all wet because we're going to seal that all in with some caulking yes yes and it'll like get any of the wet spots or whatever so dual purpose looks pretty awesome progress is being made there's the backlighting to the bedroom that kind of separates hard to show on video what kind of separates the bedroom from the kitchen area I'm telling you this is gonna turn out good i'm so excited so excited okay as you were saying you are brilliant and i don't disagree I just let me get comfortable here in my couch okay shoot tell me the brilliant idea we've been sitting here contemplating how the heck we're going to build a box to go over top of this our cooler and will also serve as a step to the bed and Corey has come up with a brilliant idea that he's going to share with me right now please like christmas i'll show it to you no i can make this super easy let me roll this heater out of the way yeah we have a little heater while we're working in here and it works brilliantly okay take a look at this See this little porta potty covered? Oh. Yep. Yeah. See how it opens? Yep. See how it closes? Yeah. So imagine that this door is right here. Gotcha. <laughs> so there's a door. Duh, we're trying to build a box. That really? opens up here. It yeah. allows me to slide the cooler out. Yeah. When the cooler door is closed and it's got a latch just inside it, so you don't see it, like a bolt latch. Yeah. You bring down the top. It sits on the door. So you have a door that moves up this way, so you can open up the cooler. Then you have a door that moves out this way, so you can take the cooler out. There's your box. Just two pieces of wood. The L, just like you said. The L, just like I said. I had an L stuck in my head. And I wasn't sure I was going to do it. Because it's too tight in there to use two by twos or anything else. Yeah, it's pretty tight fit. Like to put it, to build a box around it is, yeah, not going to happen. But we wanted to be able to encase it so it sits there when we travel. And then also we have to get a step of some sort to get up into the bed. So now, the reality, on here and jumping up there and jumping up there it just is not. In reality, my happy place. It's two doors. One door that opens up, like the cooler door does. One door that opens sideways, like the cover door does. Well, so technically, you can open up the top and the side of the bed at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then just roll that little puppy out of there. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 guys. You can't come in here yet. You want to see what I've done for the box for the cooler? That's a secret. You're going to have to watch the next video. You want to see what's going on here? It looks amazing, guys. If you like videos like this, please smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time we put out a video. We're going to show you how it went inside. Then it's outside time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Marcy and I appreciate it like you wouldn't believe. Until next time, guys. Stay tuned.